Hi guys, this is Sin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transition uh, from your Hotmail account to your Gmail. I've been a long time, long time Hotmail user, um, probably since 1997. So I'm very attached to my Hotmail account, and the only reason I'm moving away from it uh, right now is because I've switched uh, to using my Mac primarily, and the Mac and Hotmail they don't like each other. So you can't really check your Hotmail account uh, on your Mac. Uh, however, you can check your Gmail account because Gmail supports IMAP. So, what's a long-time Microsoft Hotmail person to do? Well, you could use a third-party software like EasyMail, a third-party proxy server like EasyMail. But really, I don't really want to trust uh, other third-party software. If I'm going to use a third-party software, I might as well use Gmail or, Hot or yeah, Google, since I've had a Gmail account since 2005. So the idea is when somebody sends you an email, you want that email to get funneled into your Gmail account. So here's an example. I just got this email just now from Blizzard. Um, although you don't see it in my Gmail account yet, at some point in time, um, it will get transferred over to Gmail. It might take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, Google obviously does not fetch. There you go, you just saw it. Google does not fetch your email uh, from Hotmail in real time. It obviously has to do it at an interval. Uh, and I believe it does it anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. I'm just guessing here. Uh, but it's often enough that you don't really notice the, um, the delay. So if I refresh my Hotmail account here, at some point that email will go away. So there you go. So you can see it just transferred my email from my Hotmail account into Gmail, which is really cool. Because now you can see here in Mail, I have one new email. And indeed, it's from Blizzard. So which is kind of cool that you saw that in real time. So how is it set up? Well, it's set up quite simply. Well, perhaps not quite simply. You had, you know, one had to figure it out at some point. Uh, if you go to your settings, go to forward and pop IMAP. Uh, be sure that you enable IMAP because that's how you configure your mail um, in your mail app in, on your uh, Mac here. Then at some point in time, you want to go to accounts and import. You want to add your Hotmail account into your Gmail account, and you go here by clicking on the Add a POP3 account. So Gmail will actually access and read your Hotmail account using POP3, not IMAP. Um, so all that Gmail really needs is your basic, your username and your password, and that's basically it. Uh, you can play around with these options. Um, I don't like leaving a copy of emails that Gmail has imported from Hotmail in Hotmail, so I leave the first checkbox unchecked, which is the default. Obviously, you want to access your Hotmail account through SSL, so you want to leave the second checkbox checked. And the third is an optional thing, which I believe might have been disabled by default, but you really want to enable it. Uh, what it does is it tags incoming emails with a nice little tag. Uh, that way you know you can distinguish between your Gmail emails and your Hotmail emails. Uh, so for all of my Hotmail incoming mails, it tags them as lowery at hotmail.com. So this is how that looks like, if you didn't notice earlier. So you see a little blue tag here. So if I have a, a brand new you know, Gmail email here, it'll look just like this, but it just wouldn't have this uh, blue tag here. It would actually have a different colored tag for my Gmail um, emails. So, and one other thing I wanted uh, to show you is I had about 3,000 emails that Gmail had to import from Hotmail. Um, in the beginning, probably in the first hour, I had this fourth checkbox checked. Uh, what it's essentially doing is it's telling Gmail, it's like, hey, for all the incoming messages from Hotmail, um, archive them. So what did that do? Well, it didn't put all 3,000 images in my inbox, as you can see here, which is great, because I didn't want uh, you know, all those emails uh, in my inbox, in my Gmail inbox. What it did do is it put them in a special folder, an archive folder called lowerratehotmail.com. Um, it created that folder by itself. Uh, and this is where it moved or copied over 3,200 emails from my Hotmail account, which is awesome because I can see my Gmail uh, archive and my ho Hotmail archive in two different folders. So it kind of makes things pretty organized. So at some point in time when I noticed that it had finished transferring all the emails, uh, I went back to accounts and imports, uh, edited my account, and unchecked that checkbox and hit saved. Uh, that way from, from now on, all new emails from Hotmail, as you saw previously, uh, will show up in my Gmail inbox. Um, once that's all set up server side, you obviously just have to go to your mail, uh, go to preferences, you add an account, you add your Gmail account, you just type in your username and password, and mail does the rest. So you don't even have to set up 
you know, or pay attention to whatever server or ports uh, it's using behind the scenes. Uh, mail just knows how to set up and how to access your Gmail account. Anyway, this is Sin. I uh, just wanted to show you how you can access uh, your, uh, your Hotmail account uh, through Gmail uh, on your mail app on your Mac, which is pretty awesome.